Welcome to this QuickBooks Online Tutorial for Beginners 2019. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University, and what I want to do in this video is walk you through how to set up a recurring invoice template. Okay, so when are you going to use this? Uh, this is going to be used if you have a uh, consistent amount that you invoice a customer or customers every single month. Okay, so it could be that, you know, you charge them 100 bucks a month and you have to send an invoice and it's going to be the same amount every single month. All right, so you can automate this in QuickBooks Online and it makes it really, really simple. Uh, and that way you don't have to do this. You don't have to go in and recreate this invoice every single month. All right, so what we're going to do here, we're on the home screen. We're going to go over to the sales tab. And you're going to see here, um, I'm on invoices. So if we go to new invoice, and you'll see down at the bottom here, make recurring. Okay. So if we click make recurring, it brings up this template. Okay. So you want to name this template and I'll show you where these are saved here in a minute. But uh, uh, let's say that this is um, Amy's bird sanctuary okay okay so now the type you got three types here the first is scheduled reminder unscheduled okay scheduled is just going to go ahead and do the invoice reminder is just going to remind you to do it and unscheduled and i'll click this here they don't have timetables you use them as needed from the recurring transactions list okay so it's not going to automatically enter it's not going to remind you you just put them in Okay, and when would you use this? You could use this if the invoice is going to be different every month, uh, but you still have to bill every single month. Uh, you can just do this as unscheduled. All right, so we're going to do scheduled because we want this to automatically send. All right, so the customer here, we're going to choose Amy's Bird Sanctuary, and it should fill in the email and the billing address and the terms. All right, so what we need to do is choose the interval. Okay, so you can choose daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. We're going to say monthly on the first day of every month. All right, so let's say that this is some kind of, it could be a membership, it could be a subscription, it could be a, a landscaping company. You bill the same amount every month. Uh, there's a number of, of times when you might be able to use this. All right, so the start date, uh, we're going to say this will be February 1st, since we're going to start this next month. End date could be none. Or it could be, let's say, at the end of 2019. Okay, so we say December 31st. Okay, so billing address, Amy, Lauterbach, etc. Crew number, none. Okay, and so the product, let's say that we are um, billing her once a month for weekly gardening service. And it's going to be, you know, $150 a month. All right. So it's going to total the amount, no tax, et cetera. Okay. Uh, one thing I did want to show you up here is if you have unbilled charges, you can include unbilled charges. So for example, if, uh, you know, you, it, it, this amount does vary and it's a different amount every month, you could just say include unbilled charges. So it could be that, you know, maybe Amy has this gardening service and it's 150 a month plus expenses. Okay. So there could be some various expenses you have to buy. Uh, materials, whatever, for the landscaping, you can include unbilled charges. All right, we're going to leave that off for now. And it says print later. Okay, so you can print all these, so it'll automatically create it, and then you have to go in and print them if you mail them, or just automatically send the emails. All right. Also, if you want to create this in advance in QuickBooks, uh, usually you're going to do this, you know, as a reminder so that it'll schedule it a few days in advance. But if it's scheduled, uh, it's just going to create it. You can do days in advance if you like. Okay. All right. So once we have all of the information on here, we're going to click Save Template. All right. So now we have a recurring invoice saved. So where do you find these? If you go up to the gear icon up here, go to recurring transactions, uh, you're going to see Amy's invoice right here. And if you want, you can edit it, uh, you can use it, duplicate it, pause it, skip next date, delete it. You've got a number of options. But again, this is a, a quick, easy way that if you bill people on a recurring basis, set up their invoices as templates, 
and just have QuickBooks automatically create these every single month or week or whatever it is annually. And this will save you a ton of time. All right. Any questions, leave a comment below. Um, otherwise, uh, join me over at the QuickBooks University. Got some great uh, additional free videos over there. Uh, you can ask me personal QuickBooks questions when you become a member of the QuickBooks University. Love to see you over there. qbuniversity.org.